Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to yet another Sunday morning show. Where this week I am in the south of France. That's a shame. I tell you, these trips uh, just keep coming and going, and I don't even know where I am half the time. Terra Blanche is the name of the golf course that we're here visiting this week, with foremost. And actually, we're doing some filming with Under Armour. They're releasing a new shoe, which is all under embargo, so I can't release any information on that at this moment in time, and will be coming out in the new year. Now, we will get on to some of the testing that I've done uh, whilst I've been down here. Met up with a, a very well-known coach, biomechanics guy called JJ. Now, he is uh, a French guy. Uh, he's been putting me on his um, systems and having a little look at my golf swing to see how I'm performing. And I have to say, the little tweaks that he's made, I'm really impressed with. So we'll get into that maybe just a little bit later. However, the feedback that I have had from last week's show has been absolutely fantastic. It was great to actually get back into the Sunday morning show, get editing, get the kind of juices flowing of the drone footage and all the B-roll that we get to show you during these shows. And the comments that we had from all the people that watched, I mean, there was, there was more comments than normal, put it that way, of people giving their kind of opinion as to why they enjoy this channel, why they have walked away from this channel, and why they dip in and out on occasions. And that feedback does not go unnoticed. We do sit down, talk it through, and come up with plans moving forward. And, and honestly, those comments have really helped. Now I'm over here with Jordan. We're gonna be going out onto the golf course this morning. We're flying later on today, back home. So it's been a busy couple of days. So let's get out on the golf course, share with you some of our shots and catch up with Jordan at the same time. Are you a pusher or a puller? Well, if it's about women, I think the answer is pretty, um, pretty obvious. You're in absolutely nothing when it comes to women, Jordan. No. My chauffeur for today. Hello there, Jordan Main. Ten. Not that way. Not that way. No. Um, let's hope you're better at driving a buggy than Bernie. <laughs> Can't get any worse. Can I? Cannot Real. get any worse. Lots of comments coming in saying, "Where's Jordan? Why is he not on the videos? Where is, is he? It? What's he been doing?" Well, you've been, um, you've actually been on all of them, haven't you? I have, yeah. I've you've been actually to, been away. Uh, been to Portugal. Been to a place called Tavira, which was very nice. Played some very nice courses over there. So Did you? A little Seve number. Did you? Yeah, Any drinkies, or was it just um, a nice, leisurely, well, controlled you, manner? As you're my boss, I'm going to say there was no drinking. No, <laughs> no drinking. But sure, you, you're on holiday. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, no, there was a lot of drinking. There was, was it there? was, um, the danger was it was all inclusive <laughs> at the hotel. So, um, was Dog with you? Yeah, he was. Um, went out for a night by himself. Good, good night. Believe it or not, no, that, night, he yeah. does do little things yeah, like that, doesn't he? He just sneaks off and then uh, <laughs> you don't know where he is and he walks in at about half four, stumbling over himself. Dog's in party town. Yeah, he's a joke. Anyway, um, one thing I wanted to mention to you was, um, <clears throat> obviously I know you kind of head up a lot of the, um, the membership side of things. Yeah, yeah and um, help out with the podcast and I talked about the podcast last week about yeah. um, and how well that's doing. It's amazing isn't it? It's um, something we kind of thought we just started to see how it does I think it suits yeah. it suits you as, as quite quite well because you're a very good natural presenter I would well, say. Thank you George. So um, this whole boss thing what do you want? What are you after? This whole boss thing. I don't know I don't know keep plugging away you never know. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the, the views on it are going up quite nicely on yeah, the actual podcast side of things, not the actual members not area them, so video. Yeah. So for those that don't know, if you are a member of the channel, yeah, which you can either join by clicking the button below or link in the description if you're on mobile, yes, um, you can see the video version of Behind Golf yeah. with Dan Hendrickson. Yeah. Um, but it is available on all other major podca podcasting platforms. Yeah, so... Um, and it's doing well, yeah, we're surprised, so it's, it's nice to see. Yeah, and, and when it comes to the membership side of things... Yeah. Um, 
you know, th this all started because people wanted to contribute towards the channel, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. That's how it kind yeah. of got going and why it was the only way we could set something up so people could contribute something if they wanted to to the channel. Yeah, exactly. But what we do with that money that comes in yeah. is we put it into a separate pot yeah. and it goes towards our marketing of the channel. Yes. So obviously we, we've strategically started to put a plan together as to how we're going to market this channel better. Yeah in different areas around um, whether it's print or whether it's getting out on ad revenue, ad side ad of revenue things on or Google or Facebook or whatever, poker chips, which That's we've put some one. order in, which we've got the scan codes on them, yep. which would be quite cool. So it's not that that money is going into our pockets, should we say, it's, it's just getting out there. Fund. No beer fund. No beer fund, no. it's straight back into the channel. Straight back into the channel. Yeah. Uh, okay, they've got their beers. Yeah. <laughs> I've been declined tonight, so I need some money. <laughs> so something really quite cool, actually, um, which I haven't shared with everybody, put it out on social. But myself and my brother teed it up in the Devon and Cornwall PGA Four Ball Championships at Bovy Castle. Now, if you haven't checked out last year's video, we actually filmed it. Jordan, I think Jordan came down and uh, filmed us playing the golf course. And um, we actually finished second last year. The weather was pretty bad, so we managed to get it, finish off in second spot. Now, Paul and I have actually won the Devon Four Ball Championships, PGA Four Ball Championships, I think on three occasions. I also won it with Chris Gill. Uh, that was actually my first PGA win playing with Chris. We won it in a playoff, which was well, as you can imagine, pretty pretty fantastic for me personally. But Paul and I teed it up last week in the Four Ball Championship at Bovey Castle, and we actually managed to win it this year. So pretty happy with how it kind of went. I actually played some pretty tidy golf, had eight birdies out there. We had a, a drop shot and a double bogey on our card and still managed to shoot seven under and win it by, I think, one or two shots. So yeah, very, very happy. Uh, nice to see Paul getting his game back in order after his unsuccessful attempt at unfortunately tour school but uh yeah always nice to get out and play with him and always nice to get a little uh, a little win could it bring me back to playing a little bit more competitive golf we'll see jordan's just heading back for another golf ball because he's lost another one anything to say on the matter no what I'm saying is cut the, cut the grass. Someone cut the grass, please. It's come out of nowhere, that. I thought I just nailed one over the trap and it's just approached on us. So, talking about this chap, JJ. Now, JJ is, um, like I said, he's a French coach down here in the French Riviera. And he obviously works very closely with Under Armour. I think he's worked with Adidas in the past as well with helping design shoes but he also works very closely with some of the best golfers in the world um, I looked at his wall his kind of like wall of fame and you've got you know you've got a lot of the European tour stars that have kind of come through Justin Rose certainly works closely with I think JJ still to this day Paul McGinley was on that wall Ian Poulter I think has been there with him um, so lots of lots of amazing players that have kind of come through this area to come and see JJ. Well, he had a little look at my swing. I wasn't hitting it particularly well, unfortunately, in the studio with him. I've been struggling a little bit with a two-way miss. And he really picked up on something, which was absolutely fantastic. He actually gained me about 12 yards with a seven iron. In the swing, you have a part of translation Everybody needs a combination about translation and rotation for yeah. all the segments. When you make the, your swing, you, the weight are going in the front of the left and the back of the right. Yeah. So now what I would like you is to go in the front of the right yeah. and to keep that from the front on the right and to Turn very to quickly the, go yeah. you know, towards the hill. So really getting the sense of feeling like as I go back, I'm getting loading up onto the kind of ball of my foot, kind of still keeping my heel down on the right side. And then I can load up to that right side here. And then I drive hard into my left heel as a weight movement, hip opens up naturally. But my top half just wants to stay behind. Head still moves with it, but my top half stays behind. Whereas I've been sort of getting back into my heel too much, loading up into the tiptoe, and then trying to get out my own way. 
and then getting ahead of the ball. So this just makes me feel like I can just have a lot more space and a lot more room to get through the shot. Now, um, I'm not sure how much of that I can actually take to the golf course, but just talking about using the ground a little bit more, I'll probably do another video on it at some stage, but it was just so good to make a few tweaks and feel like I could hit it as hard as I like trying to hit that fade. He wanted me to sort of focus on trying to hit a little soft fade. He calls, he calls you either a pusher or a puller. And I was always a pusher, kind of hitting push draws. Well, he wanted me to kind of start focusing on pull fades, pull cuts back to target. And it was absolutely fantastic, hitting hard into the left side, staying behind the ball, maybe just that little bit more with my kind of feel of my top half. But the height difference and the yardage difference was absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be booking in again with him um, because I think he's heading um, away from here and going to a place near London called Stoke Park. So it might be a good opportunity to spend a bit more time with him. Got one in play of you? Yeah, one in play. Oh, that's, that's shocking though. Shocking for you. So it isn't shocking though. Those little badges, which are still available, which is um, unbelievable really. Look. Your little project. My little project. There's still a few available, so get on DHB. Are we not going to save them for two years time for the next Ryder Cup? Well, we can, but Hopefully I'll, we'll have a new design by the time that comes around. Don't you think? Should do. But yeah, all year round look. All year round, whether you're European or American, this works. Tough day for the poor lad. A very tough day, but he's at least he's got it. He's under a little bit of stress today because he's had to get a lot of B-roll done to finish off this trip. And uh, he's now Not playing mine. golf without... Not mine. Not yours. Oh, <laughs> it's the Callaway. We don't play Callaways. No, 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 no. No. Why do we? Why do we always find Callaway balls? Huh? Well, that is it. Our couple of days over here in the south of France. Absolutely stunning. Jordan and I just getting ourselves packed up because we're catching the uh, uh, flight home now back to UK. But I am then heading to the bus tour at Bowood in Cornwall to catch up with Bernie. So let's, uh, let's get over to Bowood in Cornwall. Bowood Park, Cornwall. The full bus tour are here, led by Bernie. I just want to take this opportunity to apologize for being so late. However, there is a birthday. 34 years old. Ben, happy birthday. Are we singing? I think we should all actually sing happy birthday to Ben. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Ben. Happy birthday to you. Here he is. Thank you. <laughs> Just a quick announcement. As an apology, it's my round at the bar. Let's go. I do apologise. It's alright. Alright, I do blame EasyJet, but I also blame my scheduling. Yeah, and which is you're responsible for, yeah? I am responsible for yeah. that. I'm extremely tired, however, we've got a couple of more hours of drinking, yeah. which would be great. Next week on the channel, it's me and you, again. Is that from um, a very windy? Very windy. Very windy, trees blowing down and all sorts. All sorts. Yeah. All the way from France, again, again. I've just been to France, come back from France, we're going back to France <laughs> on Monday, so check in Monday. Thanks everyone for watching, awesome. and we'll see you again very soon. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs>